Hey, what's going on guys? John here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about FSD beta and what's happening in Europe. So just recently, if you guys haven't watched my previous video, I did talk about hardware 4 and how it was recently approved in Germany. Now it was from a pretty legit source. I typically just push all the rest aside unless it's something that we are going to be depending on. And it looks like this time around hardware 4 had a whole list of different changes. It came included not with just new cameras, but new FSD computer, new GPS antennas and a slew of different things so very exciting video there if you guys want to check that out I will drop a link up top and in the description below but let's talk about this video here and what makes it so exciting for European customers all right so as you guys know Elon promised months back that a v11 is going to be coming to customers however that got pushed on and on and on until the point we kind of gave up but just recently just last week from today Elon did give us a pretty recent update on version 11 single stack and that was the fact that v11 is definitely difficult to work on because of the switch between c++ codes and the neural net and because of that they really wanted to perfect it and make it on par with navigate on autopilot now as you guys know even with navigate on autopilot being in beta is especially stable at this point compared to fsd beta so before anything gets pushed over to single stack highway stack they want to make sure that it's at least on par or exceeds it in many many ways so because that wasn't the case with version 11 they gave employees a chance to test out of version 11.1 11.2 and in the end they found too many bugs and did not release the software but he gave us a little bit more hopes over this past weekend saying that version 11.3 is pretty much ready to go into employees and limited beta testers and that means that 11.3.2 is going to go into wide release all of north america is going to get a chance to have it in their vehicles and this is going to be the single stack version where you can go on the highways and the lanes still stay exactly the same it will do maneuvers on its own right now instead of asking for confirmation and a bunch of the interesting things that you see on city driving is going to be implemented in highway driving as well i think the biggest upgrade to all this is that it's going to be including the occupancy network so that means that if a ufo landed on the freeway or the highway it is going to be able to avoid it so that's going to be the best part of it all but if you want to be a little bit more realistic if a bird or a rock or something lands or let's say a truck drops something on the road your tesla is going to be able to avoid it whereas navigate on autopilot would not be able to do that all right so with all that aside with fsd beta and all this goodies let's talk about european customers i know you guys have been left out on all this good stuff lately and you guys have been dealing with just purely the old codes with fsd navigate on autopilot and just typical autopilot at this point it really kind of sucks it doesn't do anything more than lane keep assist on other vehicles and in some cases lane keep assist is even better than autopilot now if you guys remember the grand opening of giga berlin uh, somebody asked the question when is fsd beta coming to europe and that was said that it's going to happen in the summer and at the latest at the end of summer 2021 well that did not happen obviously and as you guys can see here it's 2023 and we still have no idea when it's going to be arriving well this time around he did give us a hint of what's going on with european customers and fsd beta it looks like within his timeline within the tweet here version 11.3 is going to release in limited beta testers and then it's going to go to 11.3 3.2 for wide release in North America. That means that they're going to adapt for European roads and then they're going to submit it to regulations and see what the government says. As you guys know, in Europe right now, the government is crazy. They're locking down a bunch of features that Tesla has with autopilot systems. So this is going to be a really big hurdle to cross from, but you guys will hopefully get it in your vehicles by the end of this year. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that the reason why Europe is so difficult to adapt FSD beta for is the fact that there's so many countries in Europe and imagine all the different languages and all the different types of roads now if you guys take a look at the uk you guys will notice that it's very different from other surrounding countries and that alone is already very difficult the driving experience is on the opposite side of the lane and you guys know with the parking situation how they park on the sidewalks instead of just driving and parking on its own driving space so this is where the occupancy network is going to have huge problems because it will decipher between where is the drivable space and where it's not and especially that the lanes are very narrow there's cars parked right in the lane and you have to cross over to the side past the yellow lane to get across from it it kind of doesn't make sense and this is where the situation comes in where they have to really adapt to the roads and sort of disobey the law 
to be able to drive in that space. And I don't know how other European countries differ, but this leads us on to worldwide release, which he did mention in the tweet as well. And this is where I'm going to be talking about it in another video. But there's so many different countries out there that don't obey the law at all. And Tesla really has to make FSD disobey the law and obey the law at the same time. And this is where the complication comes in and human really disobey the law a lot to be able to make it work. So I won't give too much hint of the next video, but I think that outside of Europe probably is going to be China and countries that do have regulations and laws in place for drivers. Outside of China, I don't really think there's any other countries that obey the law, but I'll talk about this in another video like I mentioned. This should wrap it up for this one, guys, and I'm really excited for you European owners because I know you guys have been waiting for the longest time watching FSD betas online, never getting to experience it, and this really sucks because I know that there's a YouTube channel out there that I used to watch so much based out of the UK, and because they switched over to FSD beta here in North America. That channel literally has no relevance anymore just because it only has pure autopilot and everything else that has to do with navigate on autopilot really just doesn't work really well in the countries. So yeah, I'm really excited to have you guys join us along the way here and test out autopilot over there and full self driving over there just as we are over here just to see the progress and get more data overall. It's the best for everyone here and I hope eventually we're all going to get to a place where you can take your Tesla or just rent out a Tesla and have it completely drive you all around the world. But anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.